So many cup and welcome to another episode here for the Funk Pod. It's Tuesday and you know what it means? Thailand Tuesday. So all things Thailand and this week, are, this week, don't worry, no health update, no nothing. It's all going okay-ish if, if you could say it like that in, in, in regards to the, those health issues I mentioned uh, in the last few episodes. So this time I'll talk about something else. I'll talk about staying fit, staying healthy, all things sports, gyms, nutrition in Thailand, at least from my experience. Okay, so um, I have a few notes here that, 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 that I want to go through because I got a few messages on uh, my Thai org and on Facebook to just answer those questions. Okay, so a few things. So first I'm going to talk about what I do because maybe that answers a few questions already. All right, so um, actively I do play volleyball slash beach volleyball a lot here in, in Bangkok. Um, so the question usually is like, where do you play volleyball slash beach volleyball? So for beach volleyball, um, there are a few courts here. Um, one in so in, in, I'm talking Bangkok right now Thailand wise there are more of course depending where you are Chiang Mai has an active beach volleyball scene um, the islands of course as well obviously um, so you just have to search for it on Google slash Facebook and you will find something in Bangkok there are a few different beach courts there are like a few outdoor beach courts like one is called Shot Selections for example where we play a lot there's an, like an indoor beach hall area with like they, they've got four or five courts or so indoor It's called ASC, a Soak Sport Club. Um, it's in the top floor of like a, a huge building. They've got a pool and mini golf there too and so on. So it's a really nice sport area. And they've got four or five, I think five beach courts by now, if I'm not mistaken, uh, indoor. The ceiling is a bit low, so it's, you can't really do sky balls and so on. But other than that, it's nice to have. So there's different ways. Then how do you find people? Like there are some Facebook groups. So if you search for beach volleyball, Bangkok, for example, you will see Facebook groups and then you just say, hey, I'm here, I'm in Bangkok, I want to play. And then people are going to either add you to private chat groups that, that, are, that are going on like, hey, we play Saturday, you want to come uh, and things like this. Another option would be that you will find the, uh, an app called Meetup, like from meetup.com or with one app that's taking off right now is called ReClub. Uh, there are usually more events on there because it's free. Um, where you can also then find simply volleyball slash beach volleyball in Bangkok. So if you search for it, but then also Thailand, of course. In the volleyball wise, there are lots of groups um, organizing themselves via meetup slash reclub here in Bangkok. So try those apps. Again, if you search for volleyball in Thailand or volleyball in Bangkok, you will find a few groups like Bangkok Volleyball or Bangkok Recreational Volleyball, I think it's called. It's on reclub. Um, they're playing twice a week. Uh, there are lots of groups in there. Um, so it's quite easy easy to find something. The courts usually are a bit further apart. They're not like downtown. Um, so some of the courts are in or around the Onut area, for example. One court is like in a Virgin Fitness Center in like Punaviti, which is even further down. Um, yeah, some international schools rent out their courts sometimes, but it's also quite expensive. So it really depends where each group goes to and where each group has connections or found like a, an open spot to rent to rent a court. So really, it really matters. So Just search for it, you will find something. People there usually are cool, so don't worry about it. Uh, you can just contact them. It's like, hey, I want to play. I'm new. Let me play. Um, and then they ask you, okay, what's your level of experience? What position do you play? And so on. And they will steer you into the right direction. No problem there. If you're scared to do this, you can also just send me a message, of course, and I'll add you or send you into the right direction as well. No problem. Okay. So that's volleyball slash beach volleyball, right? Um... What else do we have? Um, gyms, of course. Gyms, like exercise, workout gyms. So the, I, I just went to the gym this morning, actually. Um, so my gym that I go to right now is like a more low-cost gym. Um, it's like less than a thousand baht per month. If you sign up for like a, a long, like a, like a year or longer, of course. Um, which is nice, it, but it's in, it's in a basement of a, of a big building. It has everything, but it's in a basement, so there's no natural light, um, if that's something that you value for your workout. And the facilities are okay, but not great. So there's, it's not fancy, right? But I like it for, because then you feel like you're grinding. So I, I like it. Um, I used to go to a different gym before that, that's closed down during COVID, unfortunately. Um, it, it was rather fancy, which is also nice, because then you have like a fancy shower, you have a fancy steam room, and so on. That's also nice. 
um, but also lots of influencers. <laughs> so um, there are lots of gyms. The biggest gym, like my gym, is called DD Fitness. So if you live in the RE area, check out DD Fitness. Um, they're really cool. They're super nice people. And it's the one in the basement. Um, I think their, their plans are pretty reasonable, especially compared to other gyms. Um, if you compare it to like big gyms like Virgin Active or Fitness First, for example, they are insanely expensive for my taste. But... Of course, they've got everything. It looks really nice. It looks super cool. You've got them everywhere, like especially Fitness First everywhere. Um, so you can just go to any Fitness First, I believe. Um, and they've got all the fancy am amenities. So that, that's cool. Just don't need it. And it's, I don't want to spend that much money on it. So I spend enough money on, um, on other sports stuff. So I don't want to spend too much money on the gym as well. Um, speaking of which, then uh, another big one is Jets. I've never been there though. Jets 24 Fitness, I believe, and Fitness 24 is also like a big thing. So there's 24 hour fitness gyms, which is which is great. Um, that's one thing that I miss in my gym. Uh, my gym is not open 24 hours, so if you work long hours, for example, then you can't go. Uh, so that, that's why 24 hour gyms like such as Jets or Fitness 24 are of course not a good idea but then you have to Jets is also air, almost everywhere Fitness 24 now opens at more locations I believe um, yeah so check it out if you're into like functional fitness CrossFit there are also CrossFit gyms all across the town but I don't know because I don't do CrossFit um, and F45 is also um, here, here in Thailand or here in Bangkok I think they have like two or three locations even one being also at the Asok Sports Club um, I think the, the floor beneath uh, the beach volleyball is the F45 uh, and they have, in, they have a few more locations, I believe. So if you're into that, find that. No problem to also find that here. Um, then personally, what I also do is, uh, of course, lots of Muay Thai. You can see it from my shirt. If you're watching the video, it says Muay Thai in Thai and Pasta Thai. Uh, I do lots of Muay Thai. I found a gym like a few years ago that I really like. Then they closed down during COVID and they had to move. And now they open a different location, which is quite difficult to find, to be honest. Um, but it's great. So if you if you're familiar with like Nang Lin Chi Road, um, like extended Saturn area, Chong uh, Non Si, if that if that tells tells you something, then uh, there's a great gym. It's called Mang Kong Pranai. Um, check it out. It's inside an army base. Uh, the gym is quite quite okay. Uh, it's spacious. It's like an outdoor, but with a roof, of course. Um, nice trainers are nice. I've been there for years now, um, like with the Mankong Pranai, different trainers, but it's quite cool. So they're friends by now. So uh, check it out. Otherwise, of course, there are also big brands here. Like um, while they were closed, I close to where I used to live, there was a gym called Kudam Gym, for example, which has different branches and is quite famous across Thailand just for being like a bit more upper classy. Um, I think it's 500 baht per, per walk-in session, if I'm not, not mistaken. And then you can buy um, sessions, of course, like longer, more packages. And then it's getting a bit cheaper. Oh, I think it's 600 baht walk-in. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, so that's Kudam, which is nice. Which is, it's always very clean, of course, and like all branded. And they have like nice changing rooms, locker rooms, showers, and so on. Even they weren't that great. <laughs> but it was there... Um, they have they put on fight nights too if you want to fight like in a safe setting they put on fight nights um but it's a more for like a usual like if you're a fighter they will train you a bit harder but usually it's a bit more like a bit more towards the fitness enthusiast the training i would say unless you say hey i'm a fighter then they're gonna go harder on you um another great gym of course and i, ca I cannot go through all the gyms right another great gym is your cow gym um, where, where sanjay pops up quite frequently and and trains there and they have just such fantastic trainers like pro fighters who are also trainers like it's amazing i, I trained with some legends there i'm like i couldn't even comprehend it like this this guy like sanjay for example is like giving me tips right now I'm like what, what the hell sanjay talking to me like wh why and it was it was just fantastic but of course also very fighter focused usually um and otherwise there's also lots of tourists there so it's like it's always very crowded so but it's great like the trainers are g great and if you're serious and if you go there more frequently rather than just one time off then they also pay more attention to you of course um there's the, then there's the actual sanchai sanchai gym the pk sanchai gym um which is like a hardcore fighter gym they are open for everybody but it's like you could see okay those are all real fighters there which is which is great um a new gym is like Maroc force right now who also have a few sponsored fighters in one championship for example they're a bit out there like i think also in the onut area or something so i've never been there because it's just too far for me but it looks very nice it seems quite expensive but it looks it from looks it seems very nice um yeah but there's there are so many more gyms um 
I, I have an article. I have an article on uh, Mitei Org um, about like, the white items that I like the most so far in Bangkok. But I might also update it now post pandemic so that you find a few new ones there as well. So check it out, Mitei Org. Um, just search for Muay Thai gyms, you will see like a list of Muay Thai gyms that I think are really nice. Uh, but I'll also update it ASAP with like a few more additions of post pandemic because some gyms closed down, some gyms opened up in different places. Um, I'll, I'll update it as soon as, as possible. All right, that's, that's the Muay Thai part. And then another part, of course, is also the, the nutrition here in Thailand, right? So if you are into a fitness gym and so on, you're probably wondering like, where do I get I, I know my whey protein from and so on. And by now, there's like a website called Fitway, not affiliated. I should be affiliated. Not affiliated, so that's where I usually order because it's just the easiest. Uh, I used to order from, I used to go to Nutrition Depot. I don't even know if they're still around. They had a few outlets where you could buy, like shops where you could buy, like in BTS stations, but now they're gone. So I'm not sure if they're still around. Nutrition Depot, I think Nutrition Depot, .co.th. Um, but Fitway was cheaper then, I think. I used to buy it online on Lazada or Shopee or so on, but also like now price-wise, Fitway is similar. Um, if you're looking for like ON, for example, Optimum Nutrition or some of the, the fancy US brands, you might want to try online shopping on Nutrition Depot or um, yeah, Lazada Shopee. If you're more flexible and say, okay, I also would try other stuff, so Thai branded stuff, for example. BAM is one of the local brands um, that I'm trying right now. Uh, I ordered it on Fitway, for example, fitway.com, and that's where I usually order it. Um, but yeah, it's trial and error. See which one works for you. I had a few that, that really make, made me blow up, like I, I feel bloated. Um, so this one right now, the BAM one seems okay, but I still feel a little bit chubby after taking it, to be honest. Could also be my nutrition. Though. Speaking of the nutrition, right, um, it's quite hard to to eat clean, I think, even though there's lots of clean food, but it's like, you know, and for those who listen, I do like air quotes, clean, clean food, because lots of clean food isn't clean. They just say it because they add some vegetables or something, but it's definitely not clean. Like if it's c clean food and cheap, you know, I mean, you can assume that it's probably not that clean, right? Um, just saying clean because you add veggies doesn't make it clean. There are some good good like meal preps out there. Um, there's like Paleo Robi, which is famous, of course. There are a few other meal prep companies out there that I also tried, which is great, but it's still usually rather expensive. That's why probably if you're into healthy food, it might be cheaper to prep it yourself. So you go to Big C, you go to Macro or something, um, try to buy some quality meat if possible. Um, if you're into meat, if not like other products, of course, quality veggies and so on. So I'm, for example, like the veggies always look a bit sus at Macro for my my liking, but maybe it's just the visual and maybe I'm just a sucker for marketing. And so I'd rather buy veggies than at Big C or maybe even at Villa. Um, while the, some of the meat, like... At least the frozen stuff at, at Macro seems all right, but then I know frozen, you never know, um, uh, compared to then, for example, the, the expensive one at Villa, but you have to figure it out, right? Um, but I right now usually prepare food more by myself, especially if it's healthy food like chicken breast or whatever. I rather do it myself because I know, oh, okay, I bought it. I didn't add any strange oils or cheap oils or whatever. And so I'm just feeling better if I eat it myself, if, if I do it myself, even so I have to cook it and then prepare it and then even clean the dishes, which obviously is the worst part. <laughs> okay, so that's that's just what I'm doing right now. Um, yeah, just a quick update on like sports slash nutrition. If you have any questions, uh, any more questions, I think I answered the most questions that i gotten, that I, at least the ones that, I wrote, that I've written down here on my iPad, I think I answered them. So if there are any more questions in this regard, let me know. Um, if you want to know like where to get like more Thai gear, Decad Decathlon is the German way to say it, Decathlon. Uh, has some decent Muay Thai gear now. I, I mean, I usually I'm a big fan of like local shops, but it's decent and it's affordable. So good job, Decath Decathlon. Uh, in this 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 case, I guess also not affiliated. But let me know if there are any more questions. Quality questions. Shout out. Like, share, subscribe, rate this thing before you leave because it really helps to get a new audience. Until then, as always, stay safe, stay care. Jock D. Sorry, Cup. Oh, no.